they all three massively flooded in 1982. Okay. Uh, and so the water from that bridge came all the way up here okay. to the to the light at uh, High Street, which is where we're going to turn first. Okay, it's the heart of the Bloomingdale neighborhood. And what street are we on? This is Sherman Street. Okay. Uh, and then, so I said, these are the streets that, that I grew up on. This is where I grew up, spent my teenage years. Okay, and is this, where, where is hell on this, earth was. this the rough part of town? Or is it, this it, yeah, it is. <laughs> or at least what you think it is. Yeah, yeah, this is where I lived through hell on earth. Okay. Um, okay so this, this is High Street here. Okay. Going down towards. Okay. You can see, I mean, the poverty level here is so high. Yes, yes. And we're going to cross Oakland here. We'll drop down in Oakland a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, it can't be as bad as it is in a big city, so. But it's Fort Wayne, so. Yeah, we're going to turn up here on St. Mary's. Okay. One of the odd things when I was growing up, we never crossed, almost never crossed St. Mary's. Okay. The, the, in, up through the 80s, that the left side of St. Mary's here was still middle class. So they seemed like they were rich to us because we were so poor. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. So we almost never did anything with them because they seemed like they were still rich. We were so poor. Yeah. Obviously, it's gotten a whole lot worse then. So this is uh, Third Street here. This is where I grew up. Okay. Uh, we... The laundromat's closed now, but uh, okay. So there was a laundromat there. My friend Stephanie, that's on my friend's book, she lived in that house. Okay. Um, down through here. Yeah. I mean, you can just see how nasty this is. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. This was this was the the, the daycare, the local daycare. Okay. Debbie's mom ran a daycare at that blue house right there. Yeah. And that used to be the most beautiful house in the neighborhood. And look at it now. It's just a shame, Mr. Feature's house. And then that's where where I suffered all that abuse. That was in that house right there, nine twelve. Worship in the park. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody there is apparently believing in Christ these days. They've got to worship in the park sign up. Or maybe they're watching your videos. I don't yeah. Know. Okay. Uh, so come on, we'll cross the and come on down this way further. Okay. This is the way we'd walk every day to school, um, to elementary school. Because back, well, even now they still it's still a neighborhood school, and the kids can walk to school. Yeah. You don't get that very many places anymore. Yeah. So this is still Third Street coming down through here. Okay. I tell you, I mean, you see, half these houses are condemned. The other half should be. And so, this is a, lo a lot of a lot of crime around here. Drugs. A lot of or... crime, a lot of drugs. Kids being abused. And so, this is Blo that, that's Bloomingdale Elementary School. Okay. That's uh, elementary school all through sixth grade. Okay. All right. Uh, this a... used to be the halfway houses where my friend Brian lived. Okay. Uh, his parents ran a halfway house. That's the church right there where I had my first ministry job. I became the youth pastor there. Okay. Not not because I wanted to, because God made me do it. Yeah. <laughs> I got you. In, in the funeral home. All right, now we're coming we're up to... We're going to well, then we're going to circle back down 4th Street over here. Okay. So. Well Street is one of the busiest, but also one of the least cared for streets in Fort Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So is there a lot of still more that needs to be done? Oh, is everything needs to be done. I said, they don't, the city doesn't put any money in over here. They don't take care of it. Yeah. They've been talking for years about revitalizing this, putting money into this street right here, and they don't do it. Yeah. Okay. No matter who the mayor is, it don't yeah. matter. Okay. No, they just keep talking and not doing anything. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. That's one of the few businesses left from when I was a child. Burger Dairy Convenience Store was here when I was a kid. Yeah. We used to steal from in there. Oh, not me, of course. I wouldn't do that. But other people used to steal from in there. <laughs> I was, surely wouldn't do anything like that. And what's so this is another street. Yeah, so we're going to turn back down 4th Street and okay, see some is, more of this neighborhood here. Here's 4th. This is the uh, Big Fish. Yeah, Big Eye Fish Bar. Okay. And so you see, again, this is one of these that still has the original brick roads from the 1800s. Yeah, I can see. From the time back when, you know, when they had the horse-drawn carriages. Yes. Um, okay. Just, or just, like I said, just look at the, the houses, how bad they are. It's, yeah. And kids are living like this. That's what yeah. tears me up. 
And how old are these homes? I'd uh, be at least 100 years old. I'm sure they're older than mine. Okay. Mine's from 1930. Okay, there's a church up on the right. Yeah, what is... that's called uh, Most Precious Blood Catholic Church and School. Okay. A monstrosity. All right. <laughs> Ever been there? We no. sent our children there for over two years. Okay. Good place? No, I don't think the education was good, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. They have a carnival there at that, that church and school every summer that's pretty cool for kids. Yeah. We took our kids there a lot when they were growing up. Yeah, we're going to... Sure. Fourth four Street kind of... Uh, oh. a little jog here. Okay. <laughs> Fortunately, I... we're done with the brick, so it won't be as rough of a ride. Okay. All right. <laughs> this is continuing forth. Yeah, we're going to go over down Oakland Street. Show you a little bit of Oakland Street here. So, yeah, like I said, these are all the... Neighbors, we you know ran up and down these alleys and around these streets. Yeah. Um, all over the place here. Knew yeah. a lot of these people that, that lived in these houses back then. Yeah. Didn't really talk to them because yeah, yeah. Even before you know things got bad, they were telling kids, all the parents would tell their kids, don't let, don't hang out with those Carter boys. Those Carter boys are nothing but trouble. Okay. Can't imagine why. Okay. <laughs> I would never do anything wrong. I was the good kid. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is more of Oakland Street. Coming down here towards, um, there's Sinclair Street. We're coming back over to High Street again. Okay. Yeah, yeah but like I said, just wanted you to see some of the neighborhood that I'm talking about. This is the heart of where I want to help kids. Okay. Because there's so many kids like me that live around here. And there are being a, they're being abused. They're living in extreme, just living in poverty is enough abuse. I mean, yeah, I even know. if they're not getting the crap beat out of them by their drug addicted, and stoned so, parents. So what is Fort Wayne? There's not much in Fort Wayne to do. No. Um, no, I mean not. Well, I mean there is for families if you've got money. I mean, yeah, kids around here, there's not just hang out on the street and get drunk or get stoned. I mean, yeah, okay. There's a reason. So these... Fort Wayne has its problems. Oh yeah, definitely. That's what I want to help with. I mean, it's... okay, that it can it can be corrected. So we can you make a difference one life at a time. Yeah, and Fort Wayne is a pretty affordable place to live. Even if, even in the nicer neighborhoods. Yeah. It is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, even in the nice neighborhoods, there's going to be a third of what oh, a nice neighborhood like in like Chicago like, is. Yeah, or in New York or LA. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I mean, but even so. compared to other Midwestern cities, it's really cheap to live in Fort Wayne. Very. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that, well that's you, good. You go that's to, good. You go to other cities this size, and yes, Fort Wayne is still cheaper than they are. Yes. Yes. And so here we're getting a high street towards Wells. Okay. Uh, again, you can see more of the, the property, the you know the okay. homes that are you know falling down around. Yeah, I'm looking at all the, all the streets. So this has been like this since the '70s or yeah. early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really started to fall apart when the big recession of the '70s hit. Yeah, and it's just kind of gotten forgotten. Yep. So. Yeah, so you'd like this place here. They sell all kinds of novelty stuff. This universal merchandising. Yes, yes. Like the stuff you'd buy in a grab bag or whatever. They sell yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They sell that right there. Right. All across the country. But we're going to head up here. We're going to go up to, to Lawton Park, which is one of the big parks in Fort Wayne. Okay. Uh, and, and give you a look at that. This is Wells and High. Okay. Yep, we're so we're Wells turning off on Wells just off of High. I think mm -hmm. we're turning left or right? We're left. Turn, we're going left. We're going to go back okay. up here to 4th Street. Okay, there's the Pepsi plant up there. There's the Pepsi plant we saw the other night during the festival. Okay, so they have their headquarters here, right? No, no, that's just one of their bottling plants. Okay. And they so how is how's manufacturing in Fort Wayne? The way lab. down from what it used to be again, that's where it started, the city started to fall apart. It yeah. used to be. Yeah, yeah. It used to be really big manufacturing here, but it's uh, way, way down. Some yeah, of them are yeah. gone now. Um, yeah. But, yeah, it's still primarily a manufacturing city. Yes. Uh, so what's the biggest employers here? The um, hospital or what? The hospital. That, that's the same everywhere nowadays, yes. The yeah. medical, medical system. But, yeah, also General Motors makes the Chevy trucks here. Yeah, no they, tech companies here, right? Not, no, like not that. really any tech companies. Um, 
Okay. Sweetwater Sound, which is a musical instrument yeah. company, yes. they, they've gotten massively huge. Yeah, so I think... Um, but they actually... I'll show you where they got their start. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it, It's like a big international company now, but I'll show you where they got their yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. Here's the burger dis here. discount taco here. Yeah. So awesome it's a gr it. great place for retirees if you're looking to yeah, retire. Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind winter. <laughs> yeah, winter can be pretty brutal. Yeah. And how's the water in Indiana? Not too good. So yeah, it, they, have... they, put, they put hundreds of millions of dollars into making it better. Okay, well, they're trying. Yeah, so we're going to turn up Cass Street here, and I want to show you something. Okay. And again, you got to remember, Sweetwater Sound is now this massive multi-international company. Yeah. Let me show you where it got started, yeah. where it was founded. Okay. So it is possible to take even the smallest of businesses and turn them into something. Yes, yes. If you know what you're doing. Yes. Let's see. No, maybe it was the next one. Yeah, it was the next one down. It's Harrison. Yeah, it was Harrison. Harrison Street. Oh, yeah, because it wasn't that, it wasn't that building. It was smaller than that building. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they haven't taken all the festival pieces out yet. There's still some on park there. Yeah, this one here. See this little beiges building? Yes. That's where Sweetwater Sound, which is now a multinational building, got its start. Okay. Um, these two buildings here were where Sweetwater Sound originally was. Yes. And that guy turned his, you know, what is sweet, what, what Sweetwater Sound they, do? They they make musical make and sell musical instruments, speaker systems. Okay. Yeah. Anything musical related, they're doing now. Okay. They do. They do train. They have studios where big name artists come in. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. If you if you got if you know what you're doing, you can turn things around. So yeah, this this is Harrison Street here. Okay. Uh, one of the few areas that seems to be getting some attention, but mainly because uh, they're about to put a uh, soccer stadium over here next to yeah, us. Yeah. Okay. This so is a brewery there on this is side. A, there is a lot of redevelopment, but it's mostly in the downtown. Downtown, you're right. And so this is, you know, downtown's like right there, another block up. So, yeah. so yeah, it's now, coming three this years, way. Three years ago, they didn't do this, so they're no, starting. No, this has been. It, it's stuff they said for for decades they were going to do, and they're just starting to do it. Okay. Um, yeah. So like I said, so all this over here on the left, they're going to put soccer stadiums, retail. Um, so, all kinds of stuff in over here. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. It is the, the plan. All right. And sure. that, that, we were on that the other night for the festival. That's the Martin Luther King Bridge. Okay, so we're at 4th and Clinton yep. Street, and that's the Martin Luther King Jr. Bridge. That will enter you into downtown Fort Wayne. Yeah, now, night, that's beautiful. When they light that up, they have lots of different colors they can light it up. And it's a yes. really beautiful sight yes. to see at night. Yes. It's this park over here. This is Lawton Park over here. This is where we're going. Okay. And we'll walk around there a little bit, and then we're across the bridge. Okay. So on your side, where you see that fence, at, that's a skateboard park that they built, which is kind of unusual for a city the size of Fort Wayne. Yeah. Instead of yelling at kids for skateboarding, they built them their own park with ramps, etc. Yeah, I can see it. I can see that. That's where your kids can go skateboarding. Yep. And this place here? Yeah, this is this is um, the part of the River Greenway project they've got. Like, so we'll walk across that trail a little bit after we walk around the park. Okay. And the old fort, which is a replica of the original Fort Wayne, is on the other side of this bridge. Okay. And so I'm, we'll park here because it'll be easier to get over here when we come back. Okay. <laughs> Let me see who it was that called, and then I will we'll walk over and I'll show you some of Lawton Park. So this is Lawton Park, and as you can see again, the, the river, like it does with so many of the parks, comes down through here. Yeah. Uh, they got ball fields. There. These are main, these ones at this park are mainly used by adults for softball games. Okay. As opposed to you know, the other park we got was mostly Little League. This was mostly adult softball games. Yeah. In here. Um, hey, you have to be really old to remember this but there used to be up there where that maintenance shed is there used to be a pool a public pool in this park when i was a kid 
Yeah. We, this is where we'd come and we'd go swimming and whatnot. And yeah. I was on the swim team back when, you know, I was young enough to actually walk, let alone swim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But they tore it out know, probably around 1980 and built one up at a park called Northside Park. Okay. That's where I went to high school at. Yeah. So we'll start up here. We'll go up here on the little bridge and across. You can see some of the statues and cannons and things. I bet you'll like the cannons. Yes. You seem like the violent type that would like cannons. Yeah. <laughs> so what's in the back of that shed over there? That's all maintenance stuff for the different parks now. Okay. And that's where I, That used to be where they had their public pool at before they tore it out back in 1980 or so. Yeah. They also have, um, probably won't go that far up into the park, but they also have a massive greenhouse system up there that they sell flowers out of every fall. Yeah. Okay. And so this is the original bridge from when I was a kid. Okay. And some people I know, obviously not me, would climb the sides of this curved bridge and stand on top of it. <laughs> yeah. And this <laughs> this river here? Yeah, this is, uh, I think this was part of the St. Mary's. Okay. So this is this side. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool bridge. You don't see many designs like this around anymore. And where is this water flowing from? Uh, St. Like Mary. Yeah, so probably these this, these three rivers all flow. They actually all meet up again in Pittsburgh, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Now we go over yeah, the. You go up over the steps, and you'll see there's a war memorial statue up there. Okay. Some cannons you probably like. The road up there is called Spy Run. Yes, okay. I think I was on that just yes. last few videos. And what is Spy Run famous for? I what? don't know. I imagine it had something to do with the original port. So, okay. Um, you know, the name is Spy. Okay. 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 That's the statue here. There's the cannon here. Okay. Tribute from patriotic citizens to Rock Summers. Okay. Okay. Yeah, going over the bridge again. What if they have any sharks in Maybe I should throw you in and find out. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any sharks here. So we're towards the playground equipment. I'll tell you about this cool playground equipment they got up here. Okay. All right. You kind of see that thing. No way, that building over there's got the colored smokestacks on it. Was the original PowerPoint? You got to probably back up there to get it. Back this way, so we can see the colored smokestacks. Yeah. I, okay. Let me, uh, let me do a close-up. Yeah, 
that is the original power plant for Fort Wayne, and now it's a children's science museum. Okay. It's interactive. They get there's all they get in there, and it's all hands-on everything in there. Yes. Okay. Really cool stuff. Again, you know, lots of stuff for families to do around here. Yes. Um, or for you know big kids like you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's called Science Central, and yeah, I mean they do all kinds of stuff. They can make bubbles and build yes. things, magnets, dinosaurs. Okay, now what is this park we're going into? Now, this is called Lawn Park on this side that we're into. And so this playground equipment up here we're coming up on was designed by fifth graders for children to play. Okay. And then it was built by put up by volunteers. Okay. So all of the structures that you see on this playground equipment came out of the minds of fifth graders. Yes. Who said, they asked them, what would you want to play on? Okay. And, and how, when was functions. this, when was this built? Uh, let's see. It's well, been. My, daughter, my oldest was in fifth grade that year, so. So, a while ago so it's, now. has it been remodeled or? I, I imagine they probably fixed it up some, but it looks pretty much as it did when they first came up with the design. Okay. This is a really interesting looking structure. Yeah. And it gets, a, it's more as you walk around as you see the different parts. So yeah, you know, they wanted the clock tower, they wanted lots of things to run up and down. Yes. Um, okay. Okay. Things that they couldn't see here, they can slide back and forth across some of these. Yeah. All kinds of cool stuff in here. Yes. Okay. Interesting things to play. around this way okay usually when you come to a place it's packed probably because of the heat today I imagine yes even during the day during the week during the day like this it's packed and see they haven't taken care of this but they originally came up with a, a picture thing here yeah that showed the history of Fort Wayne okay yeah, okay, so this is what they built in 1994. Okay. Um, so yeah. what does this explain? What does this, this tell This is the history of Fort Wayne. All the, some, all the major events. All the way from the founding of the first fort in okay. 1794 to 200 years later they built this park. Okay. So they got, you know, the flood of 19... 1913. They've got 1985 when I graduated high school. Yeah. Flood of 82. The... <laughs> Yes. That I helped to find. Yes. Uh, in there. Okay, here's and, another structure. Yeah, so there's more of it over here. Yeah. One of the parts I was, my kids always thought the best. They've got a um, Indian canoe over here. Yeah, okay. Okay. So this is more playground stuff, and then there's more over there. Yeah, like I said, they've got an Indian canoe sandbox. You guys see this. My kids always love this. Okay. And a little miniature of the fort. To the of the we're gonna see when we go across the bridge down there. Okay. Everything a kid could want. Yes. Yeah, it's like everything else. They haven't taken as good care of it as they should, but okay, here's a everything else in this city, they're not taking care of it unless it's in the rich neighborhoods. Yeah. But this was, when this was new, it was so cool. I mean, they had the entire thing full of sand and yeah. a turtle in there they could climb on. Yeah. And this is supposed to be a miniature of the, of the fort, of the old fort. Okay. Okay, this thing here, this hut... It's yeah, it's, uh, oh, that's the, the original train depot. Okay. Oh, so the, that's supposed to be a miniature of the original train depots that came through here. So that was in the 1800s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of an idea. And again, this park usually goes way down there to Clinton Street, which, you know, far yes. far down we came. Yes. Trying to drive to the parking lot. Okay. But we can go cross the street and we'll walk down the part of the Riverfront Trail here. And okay. see the old fort. Okay. So the people can have picnics here. Picnics here. Like the, there's, it's it's all like, it's free. You don't have to rent yep. rent yep. rent your time or No. Nope. They play football and rugby out here. They play softball out here. 
Yes. This is one of the areas I come to to do my prayer walks and then sit down and do a Bible reading. Okay. Uh, I'll walk around the entire perimeter of the park. Yes. Which is a long walk. Yes. Yeah, I, I gather. <laughs> when you're 54 and your back's bad, that's a long walk. Yeah. Well, here's a place to play baseball. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I said the adults play softball there and on the second one down there. Okay. And pretty much every evening during the spring and summer, you'll find them out here playing softball. Okay. There are lots of leagues around Fort Wayne. There's a big oak tree here. Mm-hmm. Amazing about Fort Wayne is yeah. how many parks they have and how big the parks are for the size city that it is. Yes. We haven't even seen a fraction of the parks that are in this place. Yeah. Well, just my, you know, within three blocks of me, there's probably five little parks. Yes. Sometimes even battles of what's going on there. Yes. It's a reenactment. Okay, we are heading towards the fort right now. Yeah, these are. This is part of what they call the River Greenway Trail System, and it goes throughout the entire city, all along the three rivers. Okay. Where you can walk along the river. Yes. Uh, bike, hike, whatever, and get some exercise and enjoy yourself. Okay. Okay, this is what river is this? St. Mary's still? Well, it was a, I don't know where exactly the three rivers are split apart, but there's the St. Mary's, the St. Joe, and the Maumee. Okay. They come through town and they all meet up together up here. Okay. Okay. All right. Got some little artwork over here. Uh-huh. So, where is this created? This is just people, gangs? Yeah, just... Yeah, the first year or two this was up, they tried to keep the graffiti off and then finally gave up and, and said ask different okay. ones to come in and put some graffiti on there to keep it looking nice. Okay. All right. So, this is the... Um, this is part of the River Greenway system. So, this is like a trail. Yeah. Lead by example. Hey, Franken's like, hey, he looks not quite like you. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some of the artwork as we're walking along here. There's some Bart Simpson here. There it is. See? Observation deck where you can walk out there and okay. see it or see it and look out at the river. Yeah, I see. Okay, we're getting to the forts now. Yes, this is the back side. We'll come around to the front here. Okay. Hmm. 
What is this thing here? That's the electrical one. Oh, okay. 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 So anyway, we'll come up here. Yeah, it looks like we've got to close down right now. You can't go inside, but we'll get some pictures from out here. Okay, so this is a replica of the original Ford built by General Anthony Wayne. Okay. This is not the spot of the first one. It was just a little ways over. Okay. But this is like the second or third place they built the Ford. And so it's built exactly like how they would have lived with the stockades on the corners. Okay. Uh, the guard, you know, guard post stockades, yes. housing quarters, etc. Yes. Uh, the little garden they would have grown outside the fort itself. Yes. Is growing here. And the, so they have period reenactments here pretty much every weekend. Okay. Where they will come not only dress like they would have in the 1700s when the fort was built or the early 1800s during the War of 1812. They'll live that way, so they'll cook, make their soap, um, yes. live exactly like they lived back then. And if you talk to the people, yeah. they will be a character from back then and will not break character. Yes. And so that's what these other buildings are. It's, you know, these were like smoke houses, etc., out here. But yeah. especially if they're having like a battle reenactment, this entire area will be filled with tents that are period specific to the 1800s or 1700s, depending on which period. They're reenacting that day. Okay. And yeah, so it looks like they've got the door closed now, but yeah, so they've got it closed off, so you can't go in there and look. But it's it's amazing from the inside, especially when you go inside some of these buildings. Yeah. It's amazing how realistic it looks. Yes. Okay. Well, for those who come out here to Fort Wayne, this is a sight to see. And the um, little holes you see up there are actually gun holes. That's where they would stick their guns out or their air bow and arrows to try to fight their battles. Yes. Okay. Instead of having to come out and fight, face the people that might be besieging the fort, they'd stick them through those holes. Yes. Their, their muskets out those holes and fire at them. Yes. Okay. Okay. And that the big building you see over the hill, that's the city's water treatment system, sewer or system. And that's one of the oldest continuous water treatment buildings in the entire country. Yes. So it's, it probably, I think that I've heard that it goes back to like 18, something like 1850. They started treating water in those buildings. Yeah. For people to drink. Okay. Okay. This, this bridge up here, we'll go across this bridge back into the, where we, the headwaters park. Okay. So they built all this in the late 70s okay. on this side. And originally, you know, when I was a school child, we'd come here on school groups, etc. Yeah. And you'd, you'd start off on that side and then cross the bridge, and it was like coming into a different time. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But this up here is a pretty cool bridge. Okay. 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 Huh? Huh? Okay. Going over the bridge. What is that thing over there? That's the um, Headwaters Park stage that we saw during the festival. Okay. And back. I always like standing up here at the top at the peak of this. Yes. One thing, I mean, you, just, you see the majesty of God when you see this river, especially when it's in flood stage. Yep. And from this angle, you get an unparalleled view of downtown Fort Wayne. Yeah, here's the... Um... Okay.
So just that quickly, my Crosby Ridge, you go from the ancient past to the most modern of times. Yes. And what is this? Is the garden, right? Yeah, they have lots of gardens here. This is called Headwaters Park. Yes. And so again, this is where we started when you came for the festival. We didn't actually get back into this park because we didn't have time, but... Yes. The festival was mainly in this park. Yes. And they have paths and trails and statues all up and down through here. Yes. That's why you can get a picture of one of the Indians. There's a Native American statue over here. Okay, I can see it. You see how much they tore it up, though. <laughs> okay, what is that a statue of? Uh, I have to get them to read the sign again. I can't remember. Might be Little Turtle, who was one of the famous Native Americans living in this area when, when General Wayne settled it. Yes. For the white men and drove out the Native Americans. Yeah. I mean, the genocide, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is Little Turtle. Okay. Um, he was the chief of the Miami Indian Nation, and they built this in 17 or 1976. They put this statue up in honor of the bicentennial of America. Okay. Well, there's a little history, folks. And so they have statues like that all throughout the park here. Okay. As you can see, they, the, the carnival really tore this place up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it looks like everything's been cleared away. 